Hi everyone, this is Jupiter Jim from jupiterjim.com and a lot of people don't realize it but I create WordPress blogs and websites. So if you would scroll down that page on Jupiter Jim, you get a little sample of my portfolio of some sites I've created. Now somewhere on this page, right now it's in the video tutorials, if you click on that link in my nav menu, it will take you to Jupiter Jim's marketing team where I have over 95 video tutorials and thesis tutorials. For example, I've got how to install Google Analytics for WordPress by Yoast. It's a great blog post with two great videos in there. Now if you want to receive those videos directly into your email inbox, just find out where my opt-in box is, put your, your name, your best email, click submit, and you'll receive probably one a week, maybe two a week at the very most uh, video and blog post directly into your email inbox. Okay, before we get started, uh, here's the little demo site, and this is Jupiter Jim's two press demo site. You know, there's not much to look at. It's just a WordPress 2012 default theme. And I'm going to show you today how to install the two press plugin and activate it and configure it so that you can have a video gallery on a particular page in your WordPress blog or website. Okay, let's start here. This is the demo video gallery. This is twopress.org and this is what it will look like on your page. You're going to have your regular old sidebar, whatever's in there. You're going to have this at the top, the video, and then if you click on another video down here in the gallery it will end up showing on top and playing on top and you can make it not play automatically there's you can change the settings and if you have more than so many videos you can just click there and you can have pages of videos and it will show up on the same page in your WordPress blog you can vary it between 20 and 50 videos per page. The first thing we want to do is create a playlist because I'm going to have a playlist displayed on a page in my WordPress blog. Okay, so let's go here. Let's go to my WordPress. You can see right up here, it's YouTube slash user Jupiter Jim Landers. That is my channel. Scroll down. We have a playlist here. Now, if you don't know how to create a playlist, I'm going to take like 60 seconds and show you how to do it. It's so easy. Let's just say I want to, this is the thesis theme tutorial playlist. I want to create another playlist called Totally Random 2. Okay, so let's just do that. Playing the video. Now, I'm going to take this video and add it to a playlist and create it at the same time. So I'm going to add 2, click Add 2 here. I'm going to scroll down a little bit. I can't add to an existing playlist. I want to create a new one, so I'm going to put it right here, totally random to click create the playlist. So what I did is I just, right here, totally random to, I created the playlist and I added that song to it. Now, say you want to add another video. It doesn't need to be from your YouTube channel. It doesn't need to be from that playlist. You can add any one. So let's just add this right here so okay there's some kind of a video here I want to add it to totally random once again just go down here click add to and we've already created the playlist this time so I just gotta click there's one in it already click there and it's done we've just there's nothing else to do you don't just close it you don't need to add a note so you've got the totally random two with two videos in it so that we just created a playlist now you know how to do it let's go back to my channel I'm gonna click that there scroll down I need to add that up there I'll do that soon enough okay let's just say this channel right here I want to add all the videos to this channel to one page in my WordPress site I'm gonna click right there to get to the playlist and once you do that here are all the videos in the playlist there's a lot this is what we need to do this is the important thing up here okay you're going to after the equal signs there's a series of numbers and letters I'm gonna copy it you can right click to copy I just press control and then the C key to copy you can do command and see if you run a Mac okay now, once again, just to get our bearings, here is the demo site. I'm going to click here to get into the dashboard of the demo site. I'm going to, let's download the plugin, or, yeah, we'll download the plugin first. So, add new. 
we're going to search for TubePress. Real simple. Click Search Plugins. And there it is. It says TubePress. And if you go down here, it says it's by Eric D. Ho or Huff, depending on how you want to pronounce it. Okay, I always like to, before I download, I like to look at the details to see if it's updated and the quality of the plugin. And I just want to get you in the habit of doing that. So we're on version 3.0.1. We've got the correct author. Um, it was updated 86 days ago. That's a little less than three months ago. It's been downloaded almost half a million times. It's out of 68 ratings, four out of five stars. Looks good. Let's go for the install. Okay, we have installed it. It says successfully installed. What we got to do is activate it. Okay, now that we've activated it, okay, you can see that it's activated because you've got that deactivate button. You want to go to settings and then go to to press right down here. Very easy. Like I told you, this is very, very simple. Now, you've got a bunch of choices here. For YouTube, we're just going to paste in that playlist that we just copied. Okay, now under here it says choose. I've already deselected Vimeo and uh, deselected JW Player. We just want to use YouTube. And there are all kinds of options on which videos to display on your page. I'm just keeping it real simple and using a playlist because that gives you the most control in my opinion, but there are a lot of different options. Let's just save that. Real briefly, I'm just going to blow through this real quickly. You can change the width and height of the thumbnails. You can change the width and height of that video that shows at the top of the page. You can have it displayed in different ways. Um, theme, let's stick with the YouTube. You have different choices. And under Advanced, um, you have some choices here. Here's the short code keyword. Okay, so at this point, we're just going to copy that. Very simple. You could even type it out it's so easy to remember okay so we're done configuring the plugin just let's click save once again just to make sure everything's saved okay now I'm gonna go create a page and add the tube press video gallery it's so easy I'm gonna call it video okay I'm going to put in what is called a short code so you've got the square bracket here then I'm going to paste in to press, or you can type it out. Like I said, it's very, very easy. You can click, I'm about to click publish. This is the WordPress default theme 2012. I'm going to use the default template so it will have a sidebar. You can use full width without a sidebar to get more videos showing on the page. Okay, let me click publish, but before I do, you can also put text above or below the short code. It's up to you. So let's just click publish. Okay, let's just add it to the menu. There it is. We just created this video page. Add to menu. Let's put it right up here. Save the menu. Go back to my demo site. Hit refresh. Okay, so here's the page where the video gallery is supposed to show up and will only show videos from that particular playlist. Let's see what happens. I just clicked, click. And bada boom. So you've got the video at the top. You've got the gallery at the bottom. And in another video, I'm going to show you how you can add some spacing in between the video and style it. Like I said, maybe get rid of the sidebar, whatever. Um, let me just click on one old video here so you can see that that video will end up playing at the top. Okay, that's the video. So you know it's working. Please click like, leave your comments, subscribe to my blog. Take care and have a great day.